G'day, I'm Bob from Paradise and we're going to talk about the um, Morphophallus species um, and in particular um, this one uh, which is the Titan Arum. The world ends up with the world's largest flower but it's, it's quite a spectacular plant too as you can see this one here. Um, it's got a really attractive trunk and, um, and leaf structure. This one's probably six years old, something like that. We've got some younger ones here. Um, they, when they flower, it probably takes about eight years to get the bulb because this is a deciduous plant that dies down uh, every year and that, as the bulb gets bigger, once it gets about that size, the plant will flower. Now, um, this is an aroid, uh, family Aracy, so they have a, a, a spadix that goes up like that, a bit like an anthurium, only this is a super large one, and they have a, a spade out like that. So this one, but the spadix on this one is up three metres high, you know, when it flowers. Um, and the, but the true flowers are down in underneath the spade. If you see, when you see a photo of one on our, our website, you'll see down underneath there's male and female flowers and a, um, a fly actually um, cross pollinates from the male to the female flowers down in, inside the main part of the plant. But the, um, fl the floral arrangement is this giant uh, spadix and a magnificent um, purple spade. So that's the Titanarum, Amorphophallus titanum. Um, they grow in Sumatra uh, at about seven or 800 metres altitude, right through along the, um, just looking at the, the southern coast of Sumatra, it goes like that the southern coast at 700, 800 metres um, altitude and there's quite a few um, Morphophallus grow in Sumatra. Um, the temperature there, although it's not that far from the equator, it's um, something like 30 degrees, 30 to 32, mainly around the 30 degree mark all the time, except for the night, it goes down a couple of degrees. So um, it's not all that tropical plant, so you can grow it in cooler areas and uh, this one this one um, actually goes right through the winter, here in our climate anyway, and then it'll go dormant in the spring for uh, two or three months, and then up it comes again, up like this. Um, some of the other species, they've gone dormant already as the weather started to, to cool off in May. So this, there's um, a lot of different species of Morphophallus, and people collect them from all over the world. You can actually take, when they die down in the winter, you can take the, um, the bulb out and sit on a shelf if you want and you can just as it, the weather warms up you can you can see the plants starting to emerge out of the center and then you can repot it so you can just watch them and just keep them inside um, if you keep them outside they're probably not going to rot um, but it could happen we've had a few um, rot on, on us over time because the, the um, bulb itself has sort of got a concave shape so water could um, gather in the middle of it. Okay, so we, we um, do sell Titan Arums. Um, this, is, this is a um, newly emerged one, this year's seedling. This is what we, um, most of the ones we set, send out are like this, or seeds. Um, or we might um, have the next version, that's, the, that's um, a bit older, the next year. And, um, Gradually, we're getting more um, bigger ones available. So, um, fantastic plant to have, and just about anyone can grow them. This this is a uh, Morphophallus muelleri. You can see this is the old flower arrangement. These, like these are now the seeds. You can you can see this was this was the old spade, and this is the old spade because it's collapsed. And as they collapse. The seeds form. Now these will go red and then they'll become ripe in over the next few months. So and that's what happens with the Titan Arum as well. It's got a it's got a great big spave and underneath that the seed these small seeds form. So and um, with the Titan Arum the seeds are uh, a fair bit larger, about three or four times as large. But they end up being on a stalk like that, which you'll see if you have a have a uh, look on our website. So that's the uh, 
a bit about Amorpho Phallus and, um, and the Titan Arum. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Thank you.